yeah that youtube journey that youtube journey will transform you for sure i'm back the youtube journey will transform you that's for sure if you take it if you like you cannot just do it a little bit and then uh, no no go hard at it go hard at it make you're gonna probably have to make a thousand video or video for a year before someone watches you so don't be discouraged if nobody watches you if there's no view or no subscriber or don't base your reality on that to do whatever on youtube because do it for yourself if you do it for something you have to do it for yourself first my advice on youtube you do something do it for yourself because everybody's just for themselves anyway nobody really cares some people watch yeah some people are some people have the heart at the right place i'm not gonna deny that but they are in minority because the majority is distracted by nonsense so that's what they emphasize in their everyday life and they come on youtube and they spread nonsense so get away from the nonsense sense the nonsense very important to sense the nonsense yeah. Hold up. Yeah. Rise above. Rise, rise. Oh no, here I have another good one for you. Another good quote. People who feel superb about themselves generate superb results. Self respect is a beautiful thing. And a lot of people, I, I forget that, self-respect. You see, I, I started my video, it was dark a bit, now it's daytime. I was up early, joined the 5 a.m. club, 5 a.m. club, my best advice to you, I was up at 3 o'clock in the morning today. I was up at 3, I'm like, wifey, are we going to shoot videos? Because she likes to do those expeditions, she goes and walk, do her stuff, and me, I do my videos. And it's cool after we, we get together and do things, and you know experience life i want to experience life i want to i want to live you know i want to live this is anyway we become what we think about all day the best antidote to fear is knowledge yeah knowledge but so so much pe people think knowledge is on tv no? people think knowledge is on national geographic <laughs> that's what they think knowledge is no, no, no. knowledge is much more than that much more than just national geographic and discovery and this is all illusion it's all bullshit anyway all you see on tv is uh, bs pretty much pretty much everything i cannot recall something that i watch on tv that wasn't to control my mind in some way and uh, so yeah luck is nothing more yeah luck is nothing more another one on luck here luck is nothing more than the remarkable marriage of relentless preparation with well presented opportunity luck is the good fortune you determine for yourself and you know here on this channel i don't expect to entertain people who have no drive who have no motivation i don't care about those people like if you come here probably you have certain uh, a drive or a motivation or you're already working on a dream if you're here because you see me and I, i'm very motivating and I... this is the goal here <laughs> we do we want to uplift each other so yeah for sure you're gonna come here and don't expect me to uh to uh, talk to you about nonsense no? No, no, it's about inspiration, keeping the inspiration there, high at the high, keeping the vibes high, and keeping the, the, and the, also, it, I like to do those videos because it makes me discover a new paysage. <laughs> I go to places I've never been before, so just that for me is, you know, you should travel every year to a place you've never been, but we don't. We don't. We're so hermit. We're so like a. We're, we're, anyway, we don't. We don't experience life unless, like me, a tragedy happened to me, and we wake up and realize that life is a little bit more than what we've been told. We will not uh, realize the whole magnificence of life, the whole magnificence of creation, 
the whole divinity though no because we're so much entrenched in that illusion in that confusion because there's also lots of confusion and this is what they do they keep people in confusion very very important to keep people confused with the news with the propaganda babylon the propaganda very important so unplug also unplug from that freaking babylonian station most people spend the best years of their lives in the place of the known yeah most people spend their best time of their life in the comfort zone in the place of the known it's les brown les brown used to say I remember the quote, I'll come back with it, it, uh, it has to do with that. They lack courage to venture out into, f out into foreign territory and are frightened to leave the crowd, refusing to leave the shore of safety. Yeah. Me, I'm part of those who think that if there's a boat on the water there, I'm not going to wait for the boat to come here, I'm going to swim to that boat and pull it in. Yeah, I'm going to swim to the boat and pull it in. Pull, pull, pull. So instead of pushing. Yeah. And don't be afraid to fall in into uh, unknown territory. But most people prefer known hells to unknown heaven. <laughs> That's what Les Brown used to say. I, it, she said, come back. You see why I do, why I listen to all those motivational little tapes and everything. Look, it comes back to me. Inspiration now. Boom. Most people prefer... Oh, look at the nice... Here. most people prefer known hells to unknown heaven why i don't know where like i don't know why we're like that even me i was like that like i was preferring to stay in my known in my hell in my hell job in my hell uh, yeah because our job come and creates a big hell in our life a big uh, come on if you're not aware of who you are uh, you will be working for somebody else all your life all your life and you will never realize your greatness or manifest it into the well because we all have something inside we all have we all have something that drives us a passion or something uh, a bigger a bigger uh, thing that drives us so why not express it to the well and stop spending your time in the comfort zone. Your life begins outside of your comfort zone. If you remain in comfort, you'll never, never live your life. You're gonna live it, but you're gonna live it in comfort and illusion, and you're gonna live in fear and doubt. And yeah, I was it. I was there. I had a lot of fears. I still have fears that that, that I have to conquer. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. I want to conquer all my fears because once you con start conquering your fears, you find strength. You find strength in your fears. Come on, don't you think I wasn't nervous to interview Perfect Gizmani uh, the first time I did it? Hey, I was... Uh, but I found strength in my fears. I knew I was going to get strength from that interview, from that experience. And that's what I got. A lot of strength. But if I don't try, if I don't make stuff happen nobody will do it for me so yeah perfect was a big big major major step in my journey if you go back on my channel and watch my interview with perfect it's manny i was ecstatic that day i was freaking out freaking out because to me there's a great and reggae lots of great reggae singers perfect it's manny is among them perfect it's manny is a is in my top 10 I have a top 10 reggae singers, including Bob Marley, Burning Spear, and Peter Tosh, and all the greats. Perfect Gids Manny is in there. Craig Rose. Big, big inspiration for me, Craig Rose. Yeah. I thank him uh, from the bottom of my heart for everything he has done for me, all the strength he has gave me. I'm emotional just to think, talk about it now. Because he was such a huge stepping stone in my journey. Perfect. I give you thank, man. I'm gonna have him on interview again on the Truman Show soon, but he was such a major stepping stone for me. Perfect it's many. Yeah, I give thanks for that. But you see, I have thought about that interview for a long time. For a long time I have thought about that interview. And it happened. Everything you think about will happen. 
So just manifest it, manifest it into reality. It's good to talk about it. You can talk about it on Facebook, blah, 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 put it out. But turn your words into action. Turning your words into action is the best, best move you can do. And don't be scared. Don't be scared. Think big and hack bigger. Peace out.